It's been great. Um, you know, it's gonna be, it's a really quick week. We're already leaving in a couple hours, but it's been good. It's just mostly been fine tuning what we need to work on for us and um, focusing a little on what they do, but it really doesn't change how we've prepared for any other weekend this year. You look at OU, I mean, they're known for their third national championship in a row. They got most of the, I think they had, they had 16, 17 Letterman back. They're undefeated at home. They, Shut out their regional opponents, 24 zip. I mean, on and on. I mean, Are they good how, or something? What, yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, just how daunting the task is it to have to play them there? You know, it is what it is. Um, they graduated their left fielder last year, and they have, you know, one of the top three finalists for freshman of the year, one of the best hitters in Division One softball. They're very good. Um, but they are just another softball team. You know, when we show up on Friday night, they don't get a head start because of all the things that they've done in, in the past or even what they've done over the course of the year. Um, it's even playing field when we start, and um, it's going to be a battle. It's postseason. Anything can happen in the postseason. And all I know is that our girls have a lot of fight and a lot of heart. Um, you, you guys played over there last year and played a pretty competitive game. You got a lot of players back. How, um, how, how could that be a, a plus for you? You know, I think that it's not far. Um, so that's the nice, th nice thing is that our fans travel well, our families travel well. So where they have a lot of fans, we have um, a good amount that travel with us and are pretty loud. So um, our team's comfortable there. We've played there. It's um, something we've done every fall. We've done it every season up until this season. Um, and our team's not intimidated by anything. You know, um, it would be easy to get wrapped up in everything that they've done in the last couple of years and everything they've done this year. But our team's not big eyed. Um, it doesn't matter who's in the other dugout. Um, we're going to focus on what we do and, and what got us to this point. So you, have, you have quite a bit of history with OU too. Go back to your, your college playing days and do you get your masters over there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we had some good battles in the World Series when I played. And then um, after I played in Japan, um, I went and did, I was a GA for, for um, Patty and that staff and Missy also. Um, and they're incredible. They do, they do a great job and um, they continue to reinvent what they do and, and put themselves at the top. Do you guys, what does she mean to your career uh, and do you guys stay in touch? Yeah, we uh, stay in touch quite a bit. Um, she's the one that got me into coaching. Um, I went there just to get my master's and, and uh, work with her and, and her staff. And um, she said, okay, be open to coaching. And by the end of my year and a half there, um, I knew this is what I wanted to do. They showed me what it's like to be on the other side and the difference that you can make. And Missy Lombardi showed me what you, what I could do as a pitching coach and just that strategy piece that I love so much. So um, I would credit them for, for why I'm in coaching and I would credit them for showing me uh, what it should look like. Well, what did you get your master's in? And what, if you weren't going to coach, what were you planning to do? I got it in human relations. Um, I went in thinking that I wanted to do social work. I just wanted to work with people. I wanted to make a difference with people in, in any format that that was. And, and that's what Patty said early. She goes, well, this is social work. Um, you get to work with 18 to 22 year olds in their most influential time in their life and have a hand in growing them up. And she's exactly right. This is. Um, an incredible job. Um, it's an incredible time in their lives and the fact that I get such a heavy hand in how to prepare them to take on the world, it's its just pretty cool. Have you taken a step back yet to think about how far the program has come in such a short period of time? Yeah, I think um, I think Sunday was was huge and it was like uh, it was an emotional day for a lot of us. It was an emotional day for my husband and myself because two years ago we were um, sitting in Florida just trying to um, take a breath after year one and it was it was draining and there's so much growth but it was trying and it was a lot of challenges and and when you fast forward two years to see what this group has done is um, incredible for a lack of a better word they they have absolutely committed to moving this program forward um, we as a staff are incredibly lucky that we get to work with them and and work with a group that is 100 percent committed um, so just the growth of the program. Everything they do is for this program and for each other. Um, and um, it's just, you know, it, it's just been a really cool ride. Mary was named finalist for freshman of the year. What kind of a growth have you seen in her all season long? Oh gosh, I first just have to say, I, she is so incredibly deserving and I'm so proud of her. Um, and it was just this really, it was just an awesome moment. I actually got the text, I don't even usually have my phone in practice, but I got the text and it was from Carol Bregeman, who's the executive director of the NFCA. And she was like, congrats to Mary. Um, and I got to tell her in that moment and we got to hug and just have this, um, awesome money, m moment. She's so deserving and just over the course of the year she's just been so consistent. She continues to make herself better but she's so consistent and she's so composed and um, 
it's just it's just pretty amazing that she everything she's done as a freshman. You, the freshmen have had a big. I mean, your, your catcher's a freshman. Your, your top pitcher's a freshman. Your top hitter's a freshman. Mm -hmm. I mean, did, did you expect? I mean, obviously you, were, you recruited them, so you expect them to, to do well. But have they surprised you at all? And just what, what impact have they had in such a you know short, short time on the program? You know, I won't say they surprised me a, a lot. I mean, that's what we saw in the recruiting process. You know, when we look at recruits, we're looking for recruits that can come in and make an immediate impact. So we definitely saw that in them. Um, and I think just the fact that they've handled the game so well. We knew they had the talent, but they've handled the game. They've ha handled the ups and downs, the way they control their emotions, the way um, they take care of themselves and then take care of each other. Um, it's, it's just, it's just pretty awesome that they're doing that all as freshmen. They've never acted as freshmen, so that's the, the crazy thing is, you know, even from day one, they've never acted like freshmen, they've never trained like fre like they've just, they're ready for this stage, and they, they knew exactly what they signed up for, and they were prepared for it. What, what do they do or not do, the maybe typical freshmen, what even talented kids, what, what makes these kids different? Yeah, I think the, there's two major things that stick out in my head. They don't ride the highs and lows that this game um, throws at you. Um, they are consistent with with who they are. They know exactly who they are and they um, show up every day expecting to win with this looseness about them that is infectious. And um, But I think just the control of their emotions, um, the the way they don't let something negative in the game define them, it just, it just makes them hungry for more. So um, just the way they handle handle this game and all the curveballs it can throw it's just it's just beyond their years you know Hannah I guess you set a school record for RBIs mm -hmm. um, well, I, what, what have you thought about her season specifically as you know, hitting the ball um, she's just so steady she's so steady and it's I mean it's just what I, I I guess what I just said she just knows who she is as a hitter she's such a smart hitter she's such a student of the game and um, she's just constantly um, thinking about what she needs to do. She's never going to let one pitch burn her twice. Um, she'll get out and she'll come back in and be like, all right, well, you're not going to get me again. It's just this mindset that's just so competitive and um, and just like, again, she's not riding the highs and the lows that especially the offensive part of the game can throw at you. Um, she's just very confident in who she is and her abilities. And you, you're a former catcher. What do you think about uh, Kayla? What, what does she bring to the table, especially in such a premium you know, defensive position? Kayla's. Um, Ultimately, she's just one of the most selfless people on our team, and I think that you have to have that as a catcher. You have to be selfless. You have to put others before yourself, and you just have to grind. It's a very physically and mentally taxing position. Um, it's a very long season, so the, the fact that she's done what she's done over the course of, shoot, almost 60 games now, it's pretty incredible that she's doing that as a freshman, um, and she's still putting every like she just handles our pitching staff so well she knows them as individuals and knows how to talk to them how to communicate what buttons to push um, and she just does a really really great job in that position I guess Mary didn't want to give a speech in front of the team earlier <laughs> no no she wasn't prepared uh, we kind of threw her on the spot but um, you know I think that's probably one of the coolest things about Mary is if you ask her about her individual accomplishments, she de immediately puts it on the team and, and what the team's done around her. And I think that pretty much sums up who Mary Half is. Um, she is the epitome of a team player. She's going out there and just doing her job. And I think I go back to a few weeks ago and um, they asked, somebody asked her about her strikeouts. Or, and she goes, I could really care less about the strikeouts. I'm just out there helping my team win. And that is so Mary. Um, and I think that's what makes her so good is that she's just trying to do her part in the big picture. And um, she does it really well. I think the Celtics have a guy named, they say, Scary Terry. Is she sca scary, scary Mary? Yeah, she's Scary oh, Mary. Oh, I don't know. I don't know that she would like that. <laughs> well, I mean, she scares the other teams, what I meant. Yeah, you know. you know, yeah, she just has such an ability. Um, and it just reaches beyond her skill set. And the, the freshmen, you know, how do you think they did on, on the big stage of a regional, you know, last weekend? And how do you think they'll do having to go to OU? I think they'll be great. I, I don't think they've flinched at anything that's been thrown at them all year with the tough SEC season, with um, hosting a regional and, and just kind of having that target on your back for the first time. Um, and now going to Supers and, um, you know, potentially being in, in a position where everyone's kind of counting you out. They don't flinch at anything and, and they're just, they're ready to win and they're they're ready to prove people wrong. What's, what's going to be the biggest key this weekend for you guys in order to have success in such a tough place? 
I think not making anything bigger than it is, focusing on what we do and what got us here. And um, there's going to be all kinds of storylines. There's going to be all kinds of things just pumping up Oklahoma and counting us out. And I think the biggest thing is we can't count ourselves out, and, and this team won't. Do you, you like that underdog role? Yeah, why not? Why not? Um, anytime you have a chance to prove someone someone wrong or something wrong, it's, it's a pretty good position to be in. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.